Hey folks, welcome back to Real Southern Outdoors. Now today I'm in the kitchen doing, got a lot going on, and uh, one of the things I'm doing is putting up some of these uh, cayenne peppers that I've grown. Um, now I grew a bunch of cayenne peppers, and when they come off, I just bring them in sometimes, a batch of them, and just spread them out. I've got an area I can uh, spread them out and just let them air dry. Um, if you don't want to air dry your peppers, uh, you can use a dehydrator or whatever, but these, this batch I just brought in and uh, like I say, I, I spread them out and just let them air dry and I, I make sure that I get all the moisture out of them if I'm going to be drying them and putting them up. But um, some people just take a thread and a needle and they'll hang them up and let them air dry like that. But these, I just, like I said, I just spread out and let them dry good. Uh, you can use these for um, like vinegar based barbecue sauces um, where I, I grew up. That was a big thing, the, the crushed red pepper and stuff like that in a vinegar-based barbecue sauce. Now, some people don't like that, but that's what I grew up on. But if you, you can use them for making your own sauces, own seasonings and stuff like that, crushed red peppers and stuff. So whatever you choose to do with it. Another thing when you bring them in, uh, before you dehydrate them, just straight off the vine, you can take them red and greens like that and put them, people, put them in a, like a vinegar and use it to put on greens here in the south. A lot of people eat uh, vinegar with pepper in it, hot pepper like that in it over their greens and stuff like that. They even use them in decoration. They'll they'll get a fancy jar and put the green and red in there and put the vinegar on it and tighten it up. You know, different lids. Matter of fact, there's one there. It's got like a pearlescent cover to it. People put them on like that and uh, just set them out for decorations, but you can eat it. So. A lot of people around the south here, they, they eat it. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to be putting these up in a bag. And I've already got me a bag cut here. And I'm going to show you, you can take these peppers. Like I say, I like to make sure that all the moisture is out of these. These things are just completely dry. I don't want to take a chance of any uh, mold or mildew. getting, you know, or starting in with my peppers or whatever you're putting up. But, and you, this don't have to be peppers. You can uh, you can use any kind of dried vegetable or fruit or anything like that. You can do it the same way. You can uh, dehydrate it, air dry it, however you want to do your vegetables, tomatoes, whatever. Um, some people dehydrate them and then later on they uh, go back and make powder out of them so if you're into that or if you want to get into that there's a, there's a something that you can do with dried vegetables so if you get more vegetables come off at one time then uh, you can eat or give away or whatever and you you don't want them wasted you just you can dry them dry them put them in a bag and uh, there's all kind of uses for them. Maybe we'll get into that later on. Like I say, you want to make sure they're completely dry when you bag them, whether you dehydrate them or uh, air dry them. But I'm going to put these in a bag, just like that. I'm going to check them down, and uh, then I'm going to put them in my dehydrator, I mean, my uh, vacuum sealer. Now mine has a mode that says dry, moist, and pulse. What I like to do with something like this, this dry, if you've ever done rice or anything, you know that you need to bag rice, right? If you don't, go back and check that video out I've got. Um, you need to put it in a paper bag before you put it in a bag like this because you can poke holes in your bag and lose your vacuum and then you've just wasted your bag and wasted your time. But I like to put mine on pulse because these peppers are a little dry, they can be a little rough. Then I like to pulse them. I like how I pull my vacuum down. And I do this when it gets close. I can pulse it. I can stop it when I want to, I should say. as good as I want it right there maybe so a little bit more 
Now I'm going to seal it. Sometimes if you put stuff like that in there, it'll just keep pulling it down, pulling it down, pulling it down so tight that some of these rough edges or something on those peppers, it can poke a little pinhole in your bag and then you'll put it up in storage. You'll go back and look at it later on. You'll say, hey, that's leaked out. Why? And that's what it is. So you can pull it down tight enough. Use your pulse down there. Pull it down and then start pulsing it to get it where you want it. Make sure you get all the air out of it, but it don't have to compress it so, so tight. So there it is. There's a tip. You can write your date on it when you've done it. What it is, if you can't, if you need to, but whatever. Uh, they'll be ready for you when you need to use them. So I hope this video will be a, a help to you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you got any comments how you do yours, let me know. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. So until next time, may God bless you, and we'll catch you later.